Hey everyone, I'm Danny, and welcome to Muggle Magic. Today, I'm going to be unboxing Geek Gear Wizardry, and this is the festive edition. And alongside that, I also got a Loot Crate box, and this is the final Loot Crate box that I'm going to get, I believe. And I'm just gonna open them up and compare them side by side. So if you are, you know, not sure which one of these you wanna go with and you're considering Loot Crate or Geek Gear, then hopefully this video can help you decide which one you want. So I guess we'll just go ahead and start off with Loot Crate. One thing I will say is that I do love Loot Crate's logo, the Wizarding World, well, it's actually the Wizarding World logo, but I love Loot Crate's packaging. I love the fact that they have this logo on the box. And then they always have a pretty cool looking uh, tape that's sealing the box closed. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. And right away, I see a few things in there. I'm not going, I'm gonna try not to look, but I know that I have a t-shirt in my hand right now. So let's take a look at the t-shirt from Loot Crate. All right, this one's really cool. I like this t-shirt. I like, um, obviously, the Deathly Hollows. I love this symbol, and I also really like black. So um, this shirt is perfect for me. And yeah, so far, Loot Crate's off to a really good start. So now let's go ahead and open up the Geek Gear box and let's take a look at their shirt so we can compare them side by side. And Geek Gear actually has this little tab that you pull. It's actually very satisfying to do. Yeah, it never gets old. So that's another, I mean, that's one thing about Geek Gear's packaging that I like. I, I like Geek Gear's logo and the packaging, but pulling that tab uh, is more satisfying than opening Wizarding World, or I'm sorry, than opening Loot Crate's uh, box. Okay, let's open it up. And we always have the tissue paper that's the color of the house that you are in. Okay, now let's see. Hmm, is this a t-shirt? I believe it's a t-shirt, okay. So I'm gonna try not to look inside this box either. And yes, I do believe this is a t-shirt. Keep in mind, this is the festive box, so it's going to have festive themed items. I don't know what's on this. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's really neat. It's almost like a knit type pattern, and it's for Hufflepuff. So, I mean, whatever house you're in, this is what you would get. And I really do like this shirt as well. I love the dark gray color of it and the yellow. I really like it when uh, boxes or t-shirts or clothing of any kind does this for Hufflepuff rather than the other way around. I don't want to wear a bright yellow t-shirt. So when it's a darker t-shirt with a yellow for the pattern or whatever's on the shirt, that's that's always really good. Um, I love this shirt. I love both of them actually. And let's see, let's take a look at Loot Crates again. Hmm, I'm not sure. Um, Geek Gears is a better quality, I can feel. Um, I don't know. I think it might be a tie on the t-shirts for me anyways. I like them both. Okay, so next item from Loot Crate. Let's see what we've got. Okay, I'm just pulling something out. I think this is an umbrella. It is. This is an umbrella, a Harry Potter umbrella. Okay, I never thought that I would get a Harry Potter umbrella. Um, unless it was like Hagrid's umbrella or something. So let's see. Okay. Yeah. I know it's bad luck to open an umbrella inside, but I'm willing to, to take the chance so that you guys can see what this umbrella looks like. So if, if I get like bad luck, this is why. So I'm just gonna open it up and I hope that, um, <laughs> hope that you can see it in the shot. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, we have all the different houses along here on the umbrella. Very nice. So that's that's actually pretty cool. Now let's let's grab a an item from Geek Gear. So inside Geek Gear, I'm just going to get something random. Hmm. It's definitely Hufflepuff themed. Let's see, what 
are you? It's a stocking. Only Harry Potter candy can go in this. I'm only gonna be putting like chocolate frogs and birdie bots in this thing. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I like both of these as well. I think, um, I think this is a great idea. And since it's a holiday or, you know, festive box, this makes a lot of sense. However, the umbrella I feel like would come in into use more often than a stocking. So I might give this one to the umbrella just because it's, it's more useful than a stocking. Okay, back to Loot Crate. Let's go ahead and, okay, I've got something. I don't know what this is. So let's see. Oh, the Mirror of Erised. It is a miniature replica of the Mirror of Erised. So apparently, if you look into this, it's gonna show you what you truly desire. Myself, apparently. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty cool item. Now let's compare it to the next item out of Geek Gear. Okay, here we go. Potions Master. It's an enamel pin, uh, Geek Gear Wizardry enamel pin, and it says Potions Master on it. So here is the pin. I mean, the design of it isn't the best. It's just, it just says Potions Master in sort of like a handwriting font and it has a border around it and it's green. But there's nothing special about the design of this. So between the two, the Mirror of Erised uh, miniature or the enamel pin, I would hand it to the Mirror of Erised. Okay, let's open up uh, Loot Crate again and grab the next thing, okay? It looks like this is a pin, so maybe I should kind of uh, compare this to the pin that came with the uh, with Geek Gear. A phoenix. We have a phoenix pin from Loot Crate. And if I had to compare this, I would say that the this pin is a better quality. However, I will say that Geek Gear has had better pins in the past. This isn't their best. So there's always that. All right, let's go back to Geek Gear and grab the next thing out of here. And it is, I'd rather be at Hogwarts. It is a Hogwarts keychain. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. I probably won't, won't use it, but I know some people definitely would. Let's take it out of the plastic and see. The quality of it's really good. Um, it's it's nice and thick. It's not going to like fall apart or anything on you. So yeah, that, I mean, it's pretty cool. And it's big enough that you're not gonna lose your keys. And this is a licensed exclusive item for Geek Gear. All right, back to Loot Crate. Let's see what we have next. It looks like there's only one thing left here in Loot Crate. And it seems to be maybe a print of some kind. So let's take a look and see what it is. Oh, cool, that is a Godric Gryffindor print. Helga Hufflepuff, oh, cool, I'm gonna get one of each. Rowena Ravenclaw and Sal Salazar Slytherin. These are pretty cool. I will say, definitely, this is a good box <laughs> for, for Loot Crate. So it might not be fair to compare these two boxes. <laughs> Honestly, if I had to compare the item that I just took out of Geek Gear compared to this, like if I had to compare the um, keychain and these prints, I'd want these prints because I'm really never going to use the keychain, I don't think. Some people might disagree. Some people may, may love to have a bunch of different keychains. That's fine. I mean, I might hang it from like my backpack or something, but I would never put it on my key ring, I don't think. Okay, back to Geek Gear. Let's see what else we can get out of here. And this is a Christmas card, I think. I feel like I might need to like compare um, the items in the reverse order. Like this should probably be compared to the prints. Let's open this up and see what this, it's packaged kind of strange. Oh, give, me, give me just a second. There we go, okay. So, and here it is. It is a bow truckle uh, with a, a, a Santa Claus hat on and like Christmas tree ornaments on it. Those must be very, very small and intricately designed Christmas ornaments. There's no way, I mean, maybe they had to have made them themselves 
because there is no way a human could do that unless I guess you're a, wiz a wizard or a witch. So we'll see the inside. It doesn't say anything in it. That's nice. You can put wh whatever you want in there. I don't know if I'm going to give this away though. Oh, okay. And there's another one and it's Santa Claus leaving Hogwarts. Again, there's nothing in there. And you get two envelopes. So that's, that's really neat. Geek Gear gave us Christmas cards that we could either either keep or send out. I think, although I'd love to keep these, it's Christmas, so I'm going to send these out to someone. If I was to pa compare the Christmas cards to the prints of uh, the different houses, that would be difficult because I like them both. And although these are more useful throughout the year other than Christmas, this is just really cool to get and someone's going to be really happy to get this, these Christmas cards. So, yeah, I don't know. That one's that one's a tie, I'm going to say. Well, let's go back to Loot Crate. And Loot Crate doesn't have anything else. And I started with Loot Crate. So this might be the last item in Geek Gear Wizardry. Let's see. Okay, there's the cheat sheet. We don't want that yet. But here are the rest. Oh, wait. No, there's more. There's like, there's a lot more in here actually. There's like three more items or four more items maybe. So let's just see what else we get. A magical creature egg. It's inside of like a little Christmas packaging, like it, as if it's a Christmas present. And it says magical creature egg on it. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. I'm really excited to see what this could be. Oh, there's actually something in the egg, it looks like. I, I don't know. Oh, okay, cool. You know, you could transform this into a Christmas ornament, actually. And it's like it's like an egg with the snake bird thing from the first Fantastic Beasts. I can't remember what they're called, but they were really cool creatures. So yeah, this is pretty neat. I like the little, like it's a little prop and the quality is really good. And you could turn, like I said, you could turn this into a Christmas ornament. It could be a DIY Christmas ornament really easily with just maybe some hot glue in the top of another Christmas ornament or something like that. So yeah, this is pretty cool. So now we have opened the same amount of items for both boxes. Loot Crate is done and Geek Gear is still going. So let's see what else they have. All right, here's another item. And this says it is a house coin. It's a silver coin and it says loyalty on it and it has a badger on it. So this is a Hufflepuff coin. That's really cool. I don't know what it has to do with like festiveness really, but I'm not complaining. Oh, and it's not plastic. It's actually metal. And it says the bank of wizardry, geek gear wizardry on the back. So here you go. Here's a closer look. It's very shiny and, and metal as you can see. And it might be hard to see the details because of all the shininess, but it's designed sort of like a galleon, if you've ever seen uh, the design of the galleon. Yeah, it looks really neat. I like this. Let's keep going. Um, I believe there's at least one more thing still to come from Geek here. Okay, yep, yeah, obviously we have the recipes. They always come with two recipes in here. This one actually folds open, um, and this one is just back to back. So if it's like a more, um, you know, in-depth recipe, they'll have it open up like this. So this one is gingerbread wizards. I'm going to do these definitely. I'm making gingerbread wizards this year, and creatures French onion soup. I love French onion soup. Oh man, it's making my mouth water just looking at it. Here, take a look at this French onion soup and these wizard gingerbread wizards. So there you go. And there is still another item in here on that is surpassed <laughs> where we stopped Loot Crate. So that's three additional items that Loot Crate didn't have. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's a Hufflepuff print. So as you can see, it has a badger on it. Try and get a, a nice close up here if I can. Uh, without a glare on it if I can. <laughs> there you go. Loot Crate's cheat sheet looks like this. Um, very, you know, straightforward. 
white with black text and images of what you got. And that's basically what you get with the Loot Crate cheat sheet. And then the Geek Gear cheat sheet looks like this. It has a nice pattern on there and it has images of everything. And yeah, they always have next month's box hint. So it has the night bus on there. So that's exciting. I wonder what it could be. And also take a look at this. I am the featured uh, YouTuber. So apparently they just randomly choose people and put them on here without telling them, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Awesome. I'm the featured YouTuber. Cool. <laughs> so just because of that alone, I'm, I've, already, I've got to hand it to Geek Gear, but in all seriousness, Geek Gear wins for me because they had so much more in the box than uh, Loot Crate did. Although Loot Crate's items, so the pin and the mirror, it was better quality and we got an umbrella. It was pretty cool. Um, so the quality of that stuff was just a little bit better, but the quality of the things that came in Geek Gear wasn't, wasn't bad at all. And I don't know. I mean, I think I'm going to hand it to Geek Gear again. And this is why I'm canceling my subscription to Loot Crate. See, the thing about Loot Crate is they're always late and I've gotten maybe four boxes from Loot Crate so far, and three of them were missing items that were later shipped to me. So if they can't get things out on time and they can't get all of their stuff complete, all of the orders complete, and they ship boxes out m with missing items, I don't know. And then it's very expensive. I mean, all these subscription boxes are not cheap. So if you're doing Loot Crate, and you're getting that, and you're getting like three less items than you could get from another box. To me, I would pick Geek Gear. And also Geek Gear sends out wands in their boxes quite often. I've gotten maybe three wands from uh, Geek Gear so far, and I've gotten zero wands from Loot Crate. So in the one hand, if you want higher quality stuff and you don't mind getting, you know, things late or maybe shipped separately, then there you go. You've got Loot Crate. Also, Loot Crate is only every other month where Geek Gear is every month and you get this many items. So yeah, if you don't mind that, I would say go with Loot Crate Wizarding World. If you'd rather get more items more often that are good quality and sometimes you get wands, I would say go with Geek Gear. Yeah, and also Geek Gear is lo located in the UK and I'm in the US, so I get these boxes a bit later than everyone else. Um, or other people who live closer to the UK. So yeah, there's that too. Let me know which box you liked most in the comment section below. Let me know uh, what items were your favorites. And if I had to choose, let's say, uh, two favorites from each box, I would say uh, from Geek Gear, the t-shirt is one of my favorites. And then I think it might be a tie between the stocking and the cards because it's holiday themed. And if I'm not taking holiday themed into consideration, I might say the egg. Oh, and also me being the YouTube spotlight. And then if I had to choose two items from Loot Crate, I'm gonna say the t-shirt and, hmm, maybe the pin or the umbrella really, because I'll probably use the umbrella maybe daily, depending on what season it is. And the pin is just really cool and, and really good quality. With, uh, Loot Crate always has really good quality pins, but Geek Gear usually has pretty good quality pins as well. So I hope I helped you decide which box you might prefer over the other so that you can order one of them. Let me know in the comment section below which one you prefer over the other and why. And if you wanna see some Harry Potter DIYs and other unboxings having to do with Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, check out the other videos on my channel, subscribe, give this video a like, and I will see you in the next one. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you wanna see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.